I'm State Representative Stacy Newman, and I'm speaking today not just as a legislator here in Missouri, but also as a mother of an 18-year-old daughter. Uh, most of you that might put a little fear in, 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 in your thoughts, but I actually am so thankful for Planned Parenthood, because number one, knowing from my daughter and her friends, they depend on Planned Parenthood uh, for safe, for accurate information, and for medical exams. And that is a plus because we parents also trust Planned Parenthood, knowing that our daughters are going to get, again, safe, accurate information and in medical exams. But furthermore, it's thousands of women throughout Missouri that depend on and need Planned Parenthood for their preventative care. This proposal uh, is barring Planned Parenthood from receiving any federal funds and completely undermines women's access to health care. This is a devastating impact on cities and states, particularly here in Missouri. More than 90% of women uh, who uh, depend on Planned Parenthood for their preventative care. Six in 10 women, particularly here in Missouri, who receive medical care from family health planning centers, this is their main source of, source of health care. And I want to point out this has nothing, this proposal has nothing to do with deficit reduction. The U.S. House Republican leadership pushed and passed two extreme proposals that specifically target women's health care programs and their providers. And I call it for what it is. This is a war on women that continues. Strictly political has nothing to do with our public health and the welfare of women and children in the state. So I stand with Senator Jolie Justice. I will be the last woman standing in the Missouri House, not just for all women, but particularly for my daughter and her friends who desperately need this as they continue to plan their own families. Thank you.